All right, everyone, we're going to get you a quick breakdown on the E-Ruck, uh, E-Ruck price. Uh, I get a lot of questions. What's the price? What's it include? And I agree. It's a little bit unclear just because of the way we had to set up the website. Anyways, so you go to our website, click E-Ruck. So here's the E-Ruck pre-order. We have two spots open for this, and this $1,000 is going to go towards your to total bill that you configure on this side over here. Um, if you click that, if you want to pre-order, we got two spots left. Just add it to cart and uh, make sure you add your phone number in there so we can give you a call. But anyways, go into the configurator over here, click that. And right off the bat, if you want every option that's down here, just add all options. It's going to be $6,000. What is that going to get you? It's going to get you the swing arm. Uh, with the axle and the caliper bracket and if I go over here It's gonna get you this right here. That's kind of highlighting that 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 The axle and then we have our change tensioner or belt tensioner all that stuff would be included on that uh, Next option or, or next drop down is gonna be the hub so it's gonna be the rear billet hub with cush drives you get your sprocket and the belt but if you click that you can choose to do none of them if you're that guy that's a diy wants to just build off the swing arm maybe you have your own wheel maybe you want to use a chain versus a belt whatever you have options so you can just hey hey you know what i want none of that i want all of it i just want the hub with the crush, crush drive because you don't want the sprocket and the belt because you're going to use a chain whatever so that's what this is and what that's going to get you is going to get you the hub this one right here doesn't have the uh puck for the for the brakes i'm not going to run brakes on mine on the rear only in the front i'm going to usually eat the regen braking but you'll get this hub it'll have the puck for the for the brake rotor and then you will have the pulley and then there's a pulley adapter that goes in between these two so that's what you're going to be getting in there and the belt so it's a correct length belt for this setup. Next option, shock mount. So same thing, if you want it without the shock mount, you're that guy that, you know, can fab shit up and weld his own brackets, cool. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna save you a buck and you get to do things on your own a little bit. But if you want it all bolt on, plug and play, just click mount with the shock, boom. Or if you were gonna use your own shock, which right now I would just recommend you getting it with the shock. We're changing over from this uh, Ruckus shock to a Grom style, a little bit stiffer. Definitely don't get this if you're trying to do it on your own. Anyways, don't get that shock. So here's the two options. Shock mount is bolt on, plug and play. The most you have to do is grind off two tabs, one in the back, one in the front. So that's what's gonna be for the shock mount. Battery tray and cover so this is going to be your battery tray which is going to hold your battery right now we are working with chai battery they sent over some samples of their batteries just to kind of get a general idea for fit up we'll have a tray for those because it's just straight off the shelf you can order that we might talk to another custom battery builder to make more of a less tall battery but a little bit longer so we can still get the same range but it's not as tall and then what that's going to come is with that top, you know, Lusso design battery cover with standoff spacers and all that stuff to just, you know, drop it in and make it pretty. So that's what this is right here. Honestly, that's a pretty good price. And if you guys get in on that pre-sale, I would jump on it because honestly, that price is pretty damn cheap for all the labor that's going to go into that battery tray and the material and all that good stuff. So that's that. Seat frame and seat pen and controller bracket it's gonna be this cool thing you see in here so you can have the option like i said before get it without any of that that's why we have these options just try to fit into everyone's budget and that'll let you just use your stock seat you don't need our seat frame and you don't need all that stuff but if you do want to go the top g way you're going to get our billet lusso seat frame and then you can get the mount that's going to hold the controller in there perfectly and then you're going to get this the, the the top seat pan and the way that looks if you get into the 3d model you're going to have something kind of like that we're still working on finding some pads for the seat pan i think that's something we'll just include standard but if you wanted to wrap it with your own upholstery guy or whatever 
we can just easily take those off and wrap it. But I don't know, it's kind of a modern look. I kind of like that, but that's what you're getting with this uh, seat frame controller bracket and seat pan. Next option is you're gonna get the motor, the controller, the wiring, the forward controls, the relay converters, all that stuff. And if you order the whole thing, we'll have everything bolted together. Literally just put it on a couple of hours. You know, you don't have to be assembling things or figuring anything out. But, so that's $1,200. We are not making a whole lot of money on this. I think by the time we pay for it, it's like a thousand and some change, you know, we're making a hundred bucks or so on that. We'll order it in from QS Motor. We know what to order and we'll even plug in all the wires so you don't have to sit there trying to decipher the Da Vinci code. But you do have the option to say, hey, you know what? I, I like that motor, but I want to go with the chain, like the options we talked about above. That's cool. Get it without it. Or if you want, just, hey, add it. You, honestly, you get a lot of value for that hundred bucks that we're upcharging that because we're going to plug in the wires to the controllers and to the forward controls and everything's just kind of ready you can just pretty much take it out of a box plug it into the battery you can rev it to the moon so anyways that's that i think that's a killer deal wheels we're going to use a 12 by 8 uh 12 by 8 solid rear we're not going to be cutting um one piece wheels for this reason being is the motor has a lot of torque and I've seen, I mean, I've seen guys with big bore swaps, you know, twist those machine wheels, especially the one piece. Two piece should be fine. But for this instance, it's just gonna be a one piece, solid wheel, 12 by eight, four by 110 bolt pattern, 10 millimeter bolts with a three plus five offset. Just super bare bone, ruckus off the shelf stuff. We have a source that's gonna have these wheels spinning nice and true. They are not gonna be DWTs. So they're gonna spin on the dime so you're not getting that DWT wobble. If you're a ruckus guy, you know what we're talking about. So there's that option. We might add another option to add a rear tire. If you guys want us to mount the rear tire and all that stuff. Um, this is kind of preliminary stuff. Just cause we had a lot of questions from the pricing and whatnot, but gives you kind of a breakdown. Like I said, we can add a, a, an option to add a specific tire, mount it and all that good stuff. Next is brakes. So as of right now, we're using a 220 rotor in the back and then we're just gonna use a P32 Adeline. Um, just, you know, it's not a huge upcharge on any of that stuff. It's just getting it so you guys can get on the road as soon as possible. But if, hey, hey, you have this part laying around, standard ruckus three bolt rotor, and like, hey, you know what, I have that. Why would I wanna pay you a hundred bucks if it's sitting on my shelf? Boom, click that, good to go. Or actually, none. Handlebars with the speedo mount. So these are brand new handlebars. We've shipped none. So <laughs> you'd be amongst the very first to have these. They're pretty, pretty bitchin' shit if you ask me. So what else you get? You get the bars, you get the clip-ons. They're gonna be anodized in black. And then you're gonna have the mount for the, uh, the electric speedo. And that just takes all the uh, DIY out of it. Just bolt it on. Let's go. So that's a really, really cool option. So that's kind of the breakdown to kind of give you guys an idea of what are you going to get? What's what? Do you need it? Do you not? And, you know, ultimately, it's better just to get the whole kit because you can just pull it out of the box and it's a lot easier on your end. But if you're that DIY fabbing guy and you want to save a couple bucks and you have the, the skill set, hey, you know what? Options are there. One thing that's not on there is the battery. For battery, like I said, I'm talking to Chai battery systems. You're gonna to go to motorbike, Suron, 72 volt. And right now we got a shell for this guy right here and for this one. So we're kind of mocking that up on the bike. They fit, but uh, aesthetically, I, I don't think it looks that cool, but it's an off the shelf battery, ready to go. Throw that shit on, let's go. You don't have to talk to a custom battery builder. You know, these guys, have been, these guys know what they're doing. Look at that, look at that setup. So, I mean, this is a really, really, really cool option. And I'm gonna talk to the initial first 10 guys and see, you know, what route they wanna go. And then moving forward, we'll kind of see what works and what people like better. But, you know, here are the prices for the battery. What are you gonna get? You know, there's this from 21 to $2,600. And this one right here, you're gonna get range. You're looking for range right here with 72 volts or you have one that has all the power, which I believe is this one, the 72 Max. So this thing is, you know, you know rip. This is gonna be your battery rear to haul an ass, but you're gonna get less range. I think the happy medium is this guy right here, or 
um, you know, a little bit more budget friendly, this guy right here. But overall, you're gonna be getting a lot of range with this guy and still considerable uh, power. They have high-speed chargers. So have this guy here, and I've looked around somewhere else and they, there's a 220 charger that'll charge in an hour and a half. Um, but I mean, we'll kind of keep you guys in the loop on that. Like I said, we want to talk to a custom battery builder. They will build us a custom battery. Uh, super chill dude, but I know how it is like, you know, ha having someone like reach out for custom shit is just, it, it takes time and it's more expensive and you know, they're not, they're not into building custom batteries. So we're going to hash that out, but just keep that battery price in mind. Just expect to pay between like $2,000 and $2,500 for a battery. Or if you want to go super range, just stack them up and you have $5,000 worth of batteries. Yeah, that's that quick breakdown. And yeah, that that's about it. What else will you be needing? Like, hey, you're going to need a Honda Ruckus, obviously. You can go get a brand new one. I recommend you just get a used one and strip it for almost everything. Sell whatever parts off of it. Stock parts sell pretty well, so I just get a stock ruckus, strip it apart, and sell everything essentially, and then bolt this onto the rear end. And then I'd probably buy a front disc brake kit. But that's that, don't wanna yap too much, just kinda wanna go over that. We have a lot of questions, how much, how much, how much, how much, and here is the price. Keep in mind, these prices might change, more than likely are gonna change. Um, some of those prices in there are like, pretty good deal, so we're just, offering this to the first 10 guys that have stepped forward, made that deposit, and we're updating them daily with progress on the build. Um, it's it's kind of cool. You guys get an inside scoop, see how your shit's being made, and then you're gonna be amongst the first 10 guys to have an E-Ruck. Actually, it will probably be the first 12 because T5K made too. But anyways, you're gonna be amongst the top 10 elite. So that's that, over and out. Any questions, hopefully that covered it all, but just reach out.